All right, Coach, you got your first dose of the rivalry today. Big win for your team. Thoughts on today? Wow, I'm just, I'm really proud of our group. We kind of hung in there for 40 minutes, um, had a confidence about us. Uh, didn't love the last, really, five minutes of the game. Got a little scary down the stretch, but we'll be better, I think, the next time we play them with handling some of that. But um, just for our group to understand that, you know, if we bring a toughness and a, and a mentality coming in, we have a chance to, to kind of be the underdog and knock off some of the bigger teams. Um, and that's what we're talking a lot about um, Really happy with our defense overall. Um, made them take some contested shots in the paint. Uh, it's always a key that you don't let OU score too many threes and too many perimeter shots, and they only had five for the day, which was which was really good. You kind of touched on it, but is this kind of a measuring stick game for your team? Ohio is a, a team that's been really good in this league for a long time. Did you feel that going into this game that you guys could win, that you felt like you knew where you were? Yeah, sometimes when you don't have a lot of success against a team, whether it's a rivalry or not, you, you don't have a ton of confidence. And, you know, Bob's team's young, and they're going to keep getting better. You know, they have a lot of freshmen and young kids and sophomores out there. So we understand this is going to be, um, you know, tough to go back to Athens and play them. Um, but I think I'm just most proud of just of our team sticking together. Lauren was good again tonight early on. Kendall made timely baskets. And, you know, I got to give a lot of credit, too, to Kayla Brown and Molly McDonough just being seniors and stepping up and having Molly's voice out there. And Kayla stepped up and um, hit a big jumper late in the game. And, and that's, it's that combination of having multiple people ready to step up and help us. Coach, uh, Kendall McCoy has proven to be a threat from the perimeter and down low today. Yeah. She had 17 points, three threes, and <laughs> also grabbed 12 boards down low. How uh, important has her versatility been both inside and outside for the team? Kendall's been great for us. Whether she was coming off the bench earlier in the in the season or starting for us, um, she brings that consistent offensive threat. Obviously, she can shoot the ball um, really, really well. And then to see her get 12 boards was big, four offensive rebounds, eight defensive rebounds. Um, she did a good job on the defensive end. Um, she's kind of filling, filling in that role of that second scorer that has helped Lowe so much this year. And, and, and really, to win games in the league, you got to have multiple people scoring. Um, and if we can get Lowe, and Kendall consistently scoring and then I get a couple people behind them um, we're going to be in position to hopefully win some more games. You had Lauren go the entire uh, <laughs> game today is that something that coming into the game you told her you know be ready to, to play the full the full 40? Yeah, Lauren's, Lauren's logged a lot of minutes this year. I try and hope, find some time to get her out. Um, the media is honestly or her time to, to kind of relax. We had a, little, a few couple uh, that were a little bit longer today. But what she's learned how to do is to play hard for that entire time. Um, and she's, she knows she's going to be in there for 40 minutes. And if she gets a break, it's like a great day. Um, but she's been able to now, with her maturation, play both sides of the ball, play defense, play offense, still run the team. Like any kid from the point guard position that has to score and has to run the team that's a lot on somebody's shoulders and she's handled it very well um, she's learning how to take care of her body off the court um, to make sure she's fueled and rested and, and so much of it is a mental side of it too if you have that edge no matter if you're playing 40 minutes and at the end of the day every kid wants to be out there as much as they can so I think she'd be mad if I if I took her out anymore yeah, good. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach. thank you yeah. all right questions for Lauren Dickerson All right, Lauren, you started off hot going 5-5, five of five, um, and you pretty much got whatever you wanted in the first half. What did you notice about the way that they changed uh, defending you in the second half? Um, a lot of their defense consisted of switching, so I had the big man on me kind of a lot, so I could just use my speed on her, get to the basket a little bit, or if she sagged off, shoot my shot. Just trusting what they let me get, really, and just using it. Um, they went to the full court press lot in the second half. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say about about their pressing ability and, and their how they forced you to make turnovers? And um, well, pressure. they made us make turnovers for sure. Um, uh, I think we, it was just a little different than what we were used to. The way they pressed us, the way they switched it, uh, we had to do a better job of getting open, moving to the open spot, really. Um, so good job to them for making us. We had 27 turnovers, so it worked. But we got the dub, so it's okay. That's right. Yeah. Um, and you played the whole game. How you yeah. feel? I'm a little tired, but it's okay. All right. That's good. All right, Lauren, last year in some games like this, maybe they inch closer and you guys maybe fumble at the end and lose the game this year a lot different. You guys are closing the games much stronger. What's the difference, do you think, in the team from last year to this year and you guys' closing ability? Uh, confidence, trust, and believing we can win, really. Uh, I think we come together, we rally together way more than we did last year. We trust each other to make the passes, catch the passes, get to the basket, and make the, the shots that we need. All right. Thanks, Lauren. Thank you.